Hi everyone, this is Billy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind the coils for the crystal radio. For a crystal radio, you have different type of coils. The ones used for AM short wave that are wind on a ferret core. The one on FM, we use thick copper wire and wind it on AAA cell or AA cell. First, we wind the medium wave coil. We use this type of silicon tape that used to seal water pipe from leaking. We wind a layer of silicon on top of the ferret core because the ferret core is conducting. If you wind the list wire directly on top or a magnet wire directly on top, after a few years, the insulating layer will be uh, deteriorating in the coil and it will come into contact with this ferret core and become short circuiting. So it's good to wind a layer of silicon tape to avoid that happening. Also winding a layer of silicon on top of the ferret core will increase the Q value of the coil instead of winding your wire directly onto the ferret core. The way we wind it is we pull out around one meter of silicon tape, pass it in between the ring, and then start winding it like you will wind a wound with a bandage. Just make sure you have enough overlap because the silicon tape is quite thin. It can be pressed to as thin as you like but it tends to uh, come together so you need to make sure you cover it entirely and not leaving any gaps. Some people wind just one layer, some people wind two layers of silicons. Uh, that is set to affect the Q factor of the coil resulting out of this. So try and test different things and see how that will impact the Q value of your coil. For me, I am winding two layers to make sure uh, it is all covered in silicon. Okay, it's now completed. Let's do the same for the short wave coil. Uh, the core we are using is a smaller one, 31 millimeter wide and 7 millimeter high. So again, we will wind it using the silicon tape to cover in two turns. Okay, both are done. Let's see how they look. They look very solid and no crack. To wind the short wave coil, we need this silver plated copper wire. You can also use bare copper wire of the same size, one millimeter wide. When you wind the coil, make sure you space the turns evenly across the entire ring so that uh, it will have a higher Q factor. To wind the medium wave coil, you can use list wire. List wire are a thick wire combined of smaller, thinner insulator wires. I'm using the 0.04x60 list wire. You can use thicker ones depending on how, how big is your ring. To wind a coil in a ring, you need this too. It can be made out of a cardboard. Just wind it first with half the length of all your wires that you need to complete the winding. Then you can use this tool to wind the coil within the ferret ring. To create a tape out of your coil, you can insert a cardboard in between the turns that you need to create a tap. Then solder a piece of this wire onto that turn. Building FM crystal radio is an art. 
and how good your FM crystal radio perform depends a lot on your coil. I'm winding a coil using AAA AAA battery and I'm using 2mm copper wire. You can go as high as 3mm uh, but using 1mm may be a little bit weak in terms of the volume you are going to receive. In general, the thicker the wire, the more volume you will get out of your FM crystal radio. However, whether the selectivity or the clarity of the reception is as, as good, it will depend. Sometimes the thicker wire, like 3 mm, will give you loud volume, but at worst, selectivity and the clarity is also not so good. So that's why I use 2 mm copper wire. Uh, the number of turns depend on your variable capacitor and the diameter of your coil as well. So for this AAA battery, I can wind 6 turns, sometimes 5 turns, depending on the variable capacitor used. The most important thing in FM crystal radio is to keep the connection as short as possible. Also for the coil and the variable capacitor, this resonance circuit must be soldered together directly. Don't use any long wire to hook them up. That will increase, uh, decrease the frequency and also reduce all the Q factor. However, be careful to use the soldering because if you turn the soldering iron too hot, like 300 degrees Celsius, it will damage the variable capacitor, that is plastic, right? The plastic inside may melt and then you will not be able to receive any station. Instead of soldering the detector directly to my circuit, I use this type of detector socket. So I can change the detector from MOSFET 3DQ to a diode or even a crystal. So you can buy this detector socket, they are just 4 pin socket. Uh, you can buy the ones readily made, but the connection there is very bad. Sometimes they don't solder the wire directly to the pins, they just use some clip and clamp it there. The contact will have very high resistance, so I rather solder one directly myself. This is how you solder the detector circuit into the FM radio circuit, keeping the wires as short as possible. This is the band switch. You have four poles. Each pole has three positions.